Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so today is birthday vibes for me. I'm sure you guys see me dancing on Instagram. Okay, I'm over here getting it in. And a lot of you guys were asking about this shirt. So what I want to let you guys know is that while I did like Teespring, I really didn't want to work with them anymore because I don't like the whole campaign thing. Where like if I run a campaign for between three to 10 days, they don't mail out or start printing out the shirts until the final day of the campaign. So some people are waiting upwards of 10 to 30 days to get a shirt. And so I just didn't like that. So for the past year, I've been working on my t-shirt website, which is lovelyteashop.com. I wanted to find a t-shirt company I could collab with to help make the t-shirts how I wanted them. You know, while Teespring did a good job, I like my bling, I like my pizzazz, I wanted a t-shirt company that could add glitter and metallics and things like that. So I found a black t-shirt company in the Twin Cities, so we are working together. So if you guys are interested in this design, this is it right here. It says, honey, but it turned out just beautiful. I've been getting props on this shirt all day. The shirt comes in different colors. We can get them for you, spaghetti strap, thick strap, t-shirt, sweatshirt. So those are just some of the options. And if you would like it in metallic instead of glitter, let us know. Just put everything you want in detail. All of the previous designs that I've had over the past few years, like the Dragon Ball T, the Hey Auntie shirt, um, You Can't Sip With Us, all of those shirts we can bling out with glitter, we can bling out with metallic. So if you're interested, just let me know. So all the information will be down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out the website. There'll be a lot of shirts updated on there at least once a month. We'll be coming up with new designs, new logos, new slogans. Thank you guys for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. So once again, honey, future is trending social media. So what's going down now is this. Futures, I think she's his first or second or third. I don't know. She's one of the original three baby mamas, okay? Before all these other random chicks got knocked up by Future. Once again, Brittany Mealy is in her damn feelings, okay? Feelings. She's back in her damn feelings because Future done knocked up another damn girl. Okay, so what's going down is this. Brittany took to Instagram and basically this is what she told social media. Go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Brittany says, some niggas be dumb, some niggas be smart. Then she points to shit be legendary. So of course, you know, the super sloops of Instagram, um, they decided to look further into this and lo and behold, what do we have here? The mother of Legend Larry recently posted this picture of this beautiful bouncing boy. The mother's name is Cindy Renee, and basically her child's name is Legend Airy. So basically her child's name is Legend Airy, meaning this is future seventh child in the past four months. I need an extra sip, bitch. Honey, I mean, this shit don't make no damn sense whatsoever. This man literally just had two babies back to back, not even a few months ago. And now here comes a seventh child, okay? But that's not even the crazy part of it. His sixth baby's mother, Liza Rain, the Haitian Instagram model, she got the nerve to be trying to throw shots and, and talk shit about the new baby's mother as if, bitch, you're not baby mama number six, okay? So people started dragging her after she posted the following. Go ahead and check this out. So Elijah Rain decides to do a poll on her Instagram. She says, is raw dogging that serious? Asking for a friend, yes or no? Then she proceeds to say, y'all nasty as fuck. Then she says, dumb and dumber. Then once folks started dragging her, her stupid ass says, I don't care, he ain't my nigga. Really, bitch? Really? How are you throwing shots at somebody when you find yourself in the same predicament last damn summer? You're asking people's raw dog in that serious. Well, bitch, you should answer your own question, being that you done got pregnant by future and you his six baby mama. So obviously raw dogging was very serious to you because not only did you raw dog future, you got pregnant by him, you gave birth to a little girl. So what is the point of you asking folks is raw dog in that serious when we know damn well it's very serious to you? And then how can you judge her being that your baby mother number six and you knew he had a baby on the way uh, with Bow Wow's baby's mother, Josie Chavez. So you saying she was number five, 
You had no problem raw dogging him while he was fucking with Josie and being seen with Josie. And then you pop up pregnant and now you want to judge somebody else for getting pregnant behind you. Girl, no. The only dumber and dumber I see is you come into a situation where a man has so many kids by so many different women. And where a man has a female giving birth to a child three months before your child is born. So to me, you look dumb in this situation while you're trying to throw shots at the new girl, okay? You need to welcome her with open arms. All you bitches need to be sister wives at this point, okay? Y'all need to all get together. <laughs> start a little polygamy cult and raise y'all's damn children so that way y'all's kids get to know each other what's going on what's going on y'all you know hey you see the unit in the kitchen i got my wives working together right here i got my wife ruth right here helping the children hey. say hey i got zion say what's up zion what's up i got my wife sarah say hey sarah hey, hey hey what about she bet my wife about Hello. what about Susanna? hey say hey hello. and here go my newly wife right there hey don don say hello they go my wife done right there. Hey, they go my big girl Grace. Say hey, Grace. We getting it ready for the children. We about to feed the children. Say what's up, Isaac. That's my boy Isaac. That's open. Say hey, hey. They go Samson. Say what's up. Look at Samson. They go my girl Rachel. Say hey. They go my girl Becca. Say hey, Becca. That's my baby. They go my big girl. She been out there playing, so she's sweating. That's Miriam. Then we even got my baby girl Leah right there. Say hey, baby girl. So look, just showing you, we can work in unity. These women ain't in no competition, man. We building a legacy, man. All praise to the most high. I mean, this entire situation is a hot damn mess. This man has some super potent sperm. And the reason why I say that is because Tokyo Tony, when she heard about his seventh child, she decided to spill some damn tea. Allegedly, Future also knocked up Black China a few years ago, okay? So if you guys don't remember, Black China, they did a music video together called Rich Sex. Black China got so boosted from being in that video and Future trying to get with her that she ran and she tatted Future's name on her hand and the internet roasted her for a week straight, okay? Well, now Tokyo Tony's out here spilling Black China's tea, like always, and putting everything out there. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Tokyo Tony had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Tokyo Tony says, I know you glad you made her get an abortion, well, maybe thanks could have, but maybe thanks could have seen. Yeah, she told me. I don't even know what the hell she's trying to say. The only thing I recognize is the word abortion. Then she goes on to say, now I'm done. At Future, I held in long enough. Yes, I know about the abortion that my daughter had just before Dream Kardashian. Oh, you know what an idiot this bitch is? That's why you didn't want the baby. Oh, that's why you didn't want the baby. Oh, I flew out when you flew out to tell her not to have that motherfucking baby. Unfortunately, that was my grandchild that you and her decide to get rid of. Unfortunately for me, I don't give a fuck no more. And I will spill every motherfucking bean I got. <laughs> this lady's crazy. <laughs> Starting tonight, I will write a book of 5,000 words that says the name, the prodigal daughter, Black China. Coming up next, watch. Hashtag Tokyo Tony. Man, if Tokyo Tony don't go sit her ass down somewhere, this crazy toxic lady literally makes Mommy Darius look like June Cleaver, okay? No more hangers! I mean, it's like, damn, like, what the hell? Can your daughter just live? Can she just breathe without you just spilling all her damn tea? She obviously didn't want the baby, let alone letting the world know that she had an abortion with Future's child. Like, it's like, why would you even put that out there? Like, at this point, she's just being messy. Do I believe her? Yes, I do believe her. But again, it's not everybody's business. She could have just left that between her, China, and damn Future. But again, because she's looking for attention and validation, because she's mad at her daughter, because of the whole Zeus Network fiasco. It's you. Okay, come on. Yeah. Fucking you, you're the problem. Get in my face. Nobody took care of your ass but me. I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP after this shit. She's back out here telling all of Black China's business, and then she wonders why Black China keeps backing away from her and doesn't want to have nothing to do with her. So, anyways, y'all, that is the future tea. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning future and this alleged seventh child. And then his two babies' mothers feeling some type of way, especially the sixth one and her damn feelings talking shit. How do y'all feel about that? And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about Tokyo Tony basically blasting future and black China, putting all their business out there? Do you guys feel like once again Tokyo Tony's looking for attention and that's why she's blasting Black China? Do you believe that the rumors are true that black china was pregnant by future and she had an abortion so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs>